Kansas City Chiefs and Tampa Buccaneers. Oh, yeah. This game's a nightmare to try to pick. Yeah. Brutal. Everything says the Chiefs should win this game. Mm-hmm. All year, everything has said that the Chiefs should win the game. But what the Chiefs haven't done all year is cover, except for last couple games, yeah. because the Chiefs know that the game matters. It felt like all year, the Chiefs, whenever they had to make a play, would make a play. That means they wouldn't cover because the spreads were guessing that the Chiefs would fucking slaughter teams. And instead, the Chiefs would slaughter teams, but only when they had to slaughter teams. If they needed a drive, a first down on fourth down, a score, they were going to get it. It just wasn't even a question. Just like last off se- or last postseason in the playoffs, when they were down 21, they're going to get it. They were down to, they're going to get it. That's just what the Chiefs have been with the Super Bowl being a must-have-it game. You would think just like this particular postseason, they're going to go ahead and step on the throttle and go ahead and do this thing. The least distracting Super Bowl in the history of Super Bowls. Uh, We all assume this team's going to go to more Super Bowls. This is the only Super Bowl where they're allowed to practice at home. Mm -hmm. They're staying at home. They're sleeping at home, traveling in like it's an away game, traveling out. They've won on the road before, and they have lost games this year. Let's not get that conflicted mm. but in more often than not a large 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 majority more often than not whenever they had to have it they got it is the super bowl a game where you got to have you go and get many would say yes mm-hmm. but you think about them last year it wasn't until they needed it right wasp or whatever the hell they call yep. tyree kill where patrick mahomes sprinted backwards backpedaling 40 yards backwards and then threw it 60 yards down the field from the line of scrimmage. Somehow threw it 105 yards to a wide open Tyreek Hill. That was all she wrote. Game change at that moment. The thing about it is with Tom Brady being on the other team, he wins games that make no sense. Whenever he wins, it makes no sense. Last week, he threw three interceptions. Like, obviously, it's not just Tom, it's the entire team that he's on, but that is the conversation. For whatever reason, whenever Tom Brady is on a team, and you can say it's because he heightens everybody else's game, he heightens everybody else's preparation, he makes everybody in the building better, including the equipment managers, athletic trainers, let alone the rest of the team and the coaches who have to watch more film because they know Tom Brady's getting after it. For whatever reason, it seems like when Tom Brady's on a team, that team's gonna win. And Tom Brady said yesterday, he said, you know, uh, it's something. It wasn't yesterday, maybe the other day. And he was talking about not being the reason your team lost or something like that was his his line, which was a very interesting line because it does feel like Tom Brady for his entire career, he has won. He has made plays just like Patrick Mahomes when he's had to make plays. He has done some special things, but his team will also step up for him, it feels like. Will the Kansas City Chiefs defense be able to make plays like they have against a guy who seems to have been kissed by the football gods right on the mouth, because that's what he does, yep. right on the mouth throughout his entire career and been the greatest of all time? Uh, it, it feels like this game is a tough one to pick. That's why I'm putting $30,000 on tails. Let's go. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yep. Am I it. bet it or are you just Ooh, That's going to be one of those tail. that's going to be one of those clips that gets put out by Nick by the way and he's just it, it, the caption should be wait for it. <laughs> Cuz a long it's tough to pick this game this weekend yeah, because everything says you should bet on the Chiefs. But then you think to yourself, it's Tom Brady on the other mm-hmm. it's Tom Brady on the other sideline makes no sense has Tom lost before of course mm-hmm. has, has Tom Brady's teams gotten blown out before they have yeah. but for whatever reason it feels like something has happened and it has been very very much in Tom Brady's favor in the football world in his life his previous existence whatever it is the guy wins that's all Tom Brady does And that's why he's the GOAT. That's Mm -hmm. why he is a guy who will be considered the greatest professional athlete of all time because of how professional he is, says mm -hmm. Aqib Tlaib. It is insane what he's been able to accomplish. What's that, Gump? The head official, Carl Jeffers. Mm -hmm. Chiefs are 12-6 and against the spread. Brady is 4-8 and against the spread with him refing the game. We have to take that into account, by the way. Just like some people would say that pass interference call at the end of the Packers game in the NFC Championship that handed the Buccaneers the win was BS. And people said that that was the NFL and that particular ref go ahead and given Tom Brady a win. But then when you look at it from the angle of the ref, that shirt was ripped off of his back basically (laughs) by the guy. Had to make the call. Mm -hmm. But a ref who is maybe doesn't even realize, maybe a little bit biased, you know, Maybe doesn't even have a clue. Maybe see something a little bit differently. Now, I would assume in the Super Bowl, 
there's a lot more let the boys play. But man. A pass interference call, a roughing the passer call. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are some things that can really sw- a holding call. There are things that can swing a game completely, and that is a good stat to have. We're not saying anything about that guy's intentions on any of this shit. But what we're saying is the refs could determine this game, and that's why I'm betting thirty thousand dollars on tails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy the game. I think maybe, maybe we'll see. We will. See. By the way, I might just ruin the entire Super Bowl. You have, I know you would forget. You said you would forget. You have put in multiple parlays on the game in already. Who do I got? I don't remember. <laughs> it's a lot of, I, I'm hitting all the props, though. I'm not picking yeah, who's yeah. going to win. No. For instance, Rob Gronkowski to score a touchdown plus 340. Go ahead and hammer that Jeez. on FanDuel Sportsbook. Okay? Gronkowski, I, people are going to say he hasn't been targeted. He hasn't been targeted. Just think about Tom and when he needs it, who's he go to? It seems like Gronk tends to be that player. He had, what, a 30 yard funnel screen or whatever mm-hmm. down the side he's in shape it's another super bowl it's top 100 of all time team tight end who makes plays in a suit that's a great bet that's plus 340 there's a couple other ones i assume tyree kill is going to score okay i just assume yeah. so not 100 percent sure but there's a lot of props in there that you can really get after the only one that i think i feel safe is is the over even with the possible rain, Mahomes is going to figure it out and Brady's going to figure it out. They're going to score, and there's no way both of them get shut down. See, I think things get tight in a Super Bowl. Yeah. That's what I always think. Mm-hmm. And it's because, you know, instead of trying to thread the needle, it's like, all right, Super Bowl, don't turn the ball over. Let's live to yeah. see another day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I always tend to believe that it will get tighter, and I think games have shown that in recent history. Mm-hmm. But who says that they don't? They, they, there's nothing that says that any Super Bowl that has happened in the past matters this year. Mm-hmm. With the team that Tom Brady has, that offense, he's never had this many weapons on never. offense. Mm-hmm. And Patrick Mahomes and that offense obviously be able to do whatever they do. So the over seems like a lock. And for that reason, I'm probably – I'll ride with you, but it seems like the under is the bet. <laughs> well, in last year, I remember the live betting the over was the move with about seven minutes left when the Chiefs turned it on. Oh, here we go. Hey, they're yeah. going to start trying. Yeah. Yeah. The over. 20, here we go. It was 20 to 10 going in the fourth yeah. quarter. Yeah, Pat, and they won Pat just kept live betting the Chiefs and uh-huh. cleaned up. Was it plus gr- 800? I had a great Super Bowl last yeah. year. I nice. had a great Super Bowl. 